back in my real Tasmanian studio and today I'm going to be drawing the emu. It's an amazing bird, looks like Big Bird. A few reference sketches here. So I'll sketch him quickly as he's walking along. Also I found a dead one which is pretty handy. And so I got this one here which I think would make a good picture today. So I'll use this as my reference. So if you want to draw along with me, grab out your pencil, paper, whatever you make a mark with, and you know, might have to pause the video every now and again and catch up. I want to try and make this one pretty quick. Okay, so we're starting off here with a bit of an oval shape on a bit of a slight angle like that. And maybe like the letter V laying on its side here. Couple of brackets like this. Go that way. It's our basic shape. The eye of the emu is going to go around about here somewhere. So starting with the beak, we're going to do a little bit of a, a curve, very very slight curve like that, and then a little bit of a curve going this way, just very very slightly. It's a very subtle curve. It's a rounded bit here, curls around there. Again, just what I mean by sculpting is like you have the letter V and you take chunks out of it. Right. Here's his mouth. It's a funny looking bird, I tell you. Under here another little curve. It's going to be his lower jaw. Lower part of the bill. And a bit of a curve like that. This sort of goes into his neck now. Here, just imagine doing a capital letter U laying on the side there. A little bit of a brow happening there. And I'll put a bit of a circle there for the back of the head. Weird heads on these things. Now, curve here like this. Another curve like this. The emus have sort of got these funny shaped eyes for birds. But inside that is sort of like a round circle. In that round circle we're going to put another sort of circle. You can sort of see where the circle would go. So it's just sort of the sides of the circle there. Another little circle in here. Now I'll make up a wiggly line there. Be the light shining in there. Colour the rest of it around that black. Well I'm just sort of shading it in here. I always like to leave a little bit so I can always go a bit blacker if I want to. Both sides here. A little bit of shade there, a little bit of shade there. And we're going to just sort of darken around that bit there and darken this bit here. The funny guy. The funny bird. On the end of the snout we're going to do a funny nose like this. Which is interesting, a lot of birds have their nose holes up here, this one has it forward a little bit. So it's like two curves that way, two curves that way. Colour that in. Bit of a line there. When we get to putting the feathers in it's going to be fun. Just around the eye, very very gently. Just go like that. Sort of like a cross between drawing and shading that is. Yeah, a bit of shading, you hold your pencil like that. Kind of shade in here like this. Sort of under that eye. Onto the beak a little bit. Just like gently colouring in. Do the same to the lower jaw here. Like a gentle colour in there too. About to get into some fun bits soon. Above the eye, I need to do. See, I'm just a. Uh, I press hard, I flick up, and I lift it off. Oh, it's like eyelashes, eyebrows. So I'm going to do those above the eye there. Actually, be coming down over the eye a little bit, like an eyebrow. 
coming out here as well on the pencil to the side it's a little bit like shading at the same time so we want some nice so thick lines there so I'm holding the pencil like that here some hairs here that's what makes it a funny little bird not actually hairs the feathers but you know it looks like a funny hairstyle and here nice big flicking bits of crazy punk hairstyle that this bird has More at the back here. Down here it goes a bit shorter, so I'm going to see pencil on the side, it'll do it twice as fast like that. It's like a nice bit of shading. And I'm going to do the same here like this. Amy is usually covered in these funny feathers. Now, holding a pencil like this, I'm going to darken up here. It needs to be darker. That needs to be dark. I'm pressing quite heavy now. Little tiny feathers here. See that? And now I'm going to put some thin dark feathers through our shading. I'm pressing quite heavy this time. the feature of this bird, these funny feathers. They have a bit of a line there which we're going to break up a little bit. I don't want an actual line, we just want to peter it out a bit like that. Now I'm going to curve these around like this. So I've got some there, some there. I'm going to have to make that blend. Here we go. Making a right mess of it. And that's all right. They look a bit messy. That's what's good. A bit short here. Curve. A bit here. And I'm going to do some more here. Gentle feathers around here. It's coming down like this. my source material here let's put an ear in here there's some feathers around it but around that ear is going to be naked so I think I'll be sort of rushed ahead and try to just cover the whole bird in its funny feathers just going to have some bits there which is just going to be blank very gentle here Into those feathers there. This is where I'm going to curve like brackets the feathers around to join up with these ones. Oh, what a funny looking bird. Uh, same here. Curve these around. I'm not happy with it. That's not so crisscross. Looks like there's an actual direction that these feathers go. Beauty. It's a good Aussie bird now. I'm going to go in and shade a bit here, a little bit here. It's like a cross between shading and drawing that. Now I've done that, his eyes not dark enough. So Few little feathers coming up here. I'm going to get in and really darken up this eye so it stands out. Little bits of feathers around here too. Give me a bit of character. I'll darken that up a little bit. And there's our emu. That nice little bit of shade here. Darken that up. So I've got a lot of line work here. This dissolves into feathers here.
Looks like he's got, mm-hmm, yeah, splash well, mm-hmm. I just scribbled that in. Sometimes you can get away with a bit of scribble, make it look good. It goes a long way. And that's how you draw an emu. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Catch me next time for when I'm going to draw something else, which is got something to do with natural history or nature or wildlife, because that's what I like. You've got to draw what you love. I'll see you next time.